So before we add uh, functionality for the other two, we have to make sure that the functionality for this one is complete. That way it's easy to copy everything over to these other guys. Now, what we'll do is, uh, there are a few problems here. For example, uh, the date is actually showing the current date and not the date when this question was posed. So that's my bad because if I go back to here where I'm displaying everything, I just put date there for some reason. I was supposed to put, um, I was supposed to use the actual date from the raw itself. So the raw is question date. So let me copy that question and put it here. So it should be date and then the format of the date and then comma, I put the source. So I'll do this and say date like that. The only problem is that's not the correct format. So we get this nasty error. So to fix that, uh, let's add another function here called string to time, string str to time open bracket. So open the bracket, close the bracket there. And this will convert uh, the date and time into a Unix timestamp, which is uh, seconds. It will just convert it to a an integer number of seconds since 1970. And that's the correct format for this. So finally, we get the correct content. OK, so yeah, I realize I added one more question here when I was away. Uh, so you can add as many questions as you want. And then now when we try to add a new question here, let's go down to uh, there's something we haven't dealt with, which is the images. But then we need a comment as well. So back to the input, the edit, where is this? Tests. Mm -hmm. This one is test add subjective. That's the one. So the same way we have a um, text area here, I'm going to try and add a uh, another input. This one is of type text. Let's give it a class name of form control as well. Let's name it uh, comment. And that should do. So refresh. There we go. But let's move it above just under the text area. There we go. Hmm, let me add it inside this div. Okay, much better. Let's put a placeholder. Comment. All right comment there and this one is optional like so just the same as the image as well that is optional so let's try and say image uh, optional okay so image optional comment optional Type your question here, required. Maybe, yeah, I think that's about it. So now we have to incorporate this and that. So let's try to add the comment thingy here. Now, the first thing we do is, of course, we have to go to our database and accommodate it from there. So tests, not questions. Test questions table. Go to the structure. And let's add one after question. Go. 
we're going to call this one comment and uh, variable character let's say 1024 because the comment shouldn't be too big and save okay that does it there secondly we need to go to our model and inside the questions model let's add um, comment to the list otherwise it will be omitted okay good so comment 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 great then when displaying now uh, this is when we're displaying the instead of one point here I'm just going to copy this and put a uh, comment instead so let's do comment like so okay so now I refresh and let's go back you see that the one point disappears so let's add another question here so add subjective questions here is another question with a comment so one point maybe we can say something like this question is worth one point and let's save that question okay so there we go this question is worth one point now if there's an image it will be between this and that so let's see how we can upload an image as well and display it so if i go to my single test um, add subjective this is where we are posting something here if there's an image we have to do something about that so we already have a system that deals with images don't we and this is in the students.php uh, let's see here no actually it's in the profile.php so let's see once we go to edit or add so check for files right so right here from check for files we can copy all of this copy if it's so mundane uh, so similar we can just create a function to handle this yeah let's see if there's need for anything weird no actually there isn't need so check for files allowed ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. yeah so the only thing we needed is the files thingy here so what i will do is cut this instead of copying it so only thing is uh let's see here post image yeah that might be a problem is equal to destination hmm okay might not really be a problem so i'll copy this and then let's go to functions here and then in here down with functions i would just say function uh, upload underscore image like this and then here i will put the files uh, wait a minute let me paste this the way it is like so and move that back now i want to use this files version so let me select all i don't want to use the the global variable so i will delete the underscore just to remove it as the global variable and then i will put it here as a reference okay then this one here will be returned so instead of this i'll cut this and instead i'll say return destination that way we can capture the destination on the other side otherwise if things don't go well return uh, I don't know false something so that's upload image so if I go back to oh where was I 
that was inside uh, profile and in the edit for example yeah so check for files so right here i will say upload underscore image and then i'll put the files um, variable like this now this returns something so instead of having to put that there i'm just going to copy this and put it here so then it returns the value and we put it there that's it like that now the thing is um hmm i think this is not a good idea because if it doesn't return something good then we'll be stranded so instead of this i'll put an if statement so let me um let me just do this and say my image and put an if statement there and say if my image meaning if this happens successfully then i can use uh set this to something okay so post image the reason i'm doing this is because if this doesn't if this, this returns false meaning there was no image uploaded then we shouldn't even create this at all so if this is true something was returned then we can create this like so okay because this is exactly what we're doing here. We're only doing this if this is true, and then that's when we're creating this, otherwise we are not. So same thing here, and now I can remove this whole thing. This reduces our code, so now check for files is different. So copy this. Let's see if we have another function called Let's see, oh, adding a profile is done in the sign up. so, Usually there's no image required, only this happens in the edit. So now that we have that, we can come back to single test and... Uh, where did I want to add this? So right over here, if everything is valid, let's check for images as well. So I'll paste this like so. And then this post image will be part of this and it will be added to the whole thing. Okay, cool. So that should work just like that. So back here, I will try and add a new question with uh, an image. So a new question with an image. Let's try that with a comment as well. Let's just say one point or maybe two points here. And then let's browse for an image so the image is not really a question because i have none of that so i'm just going to get any image and uh, save that so there we go new question with an image but we don't see an image so let's go and check it out back to single test view um no this one right here where we are displaying the content right in between the comment and this we should add an image so right here i would just say image and the source should be question image copy boom okay but let's put some php tags close them and then here it's image and then here, let's do a style. And in this style, we'll say width, let's say uh, 50%. Let's see how that works. Okay, so we don't see anything. So let me inspect the element and see what we have. Um, So the source is empty. So meaning that uh, if I go to my questions now and browse, I should find that uh, there was no image there. Okay, but let's check to see if an image was actually uploaded. So pro 
Um, and then let's go to uploads. Let's see here. So that image wasn't uploaded either. Okay, so we seem to have a problem and we shall fix it in the next video.